This is Global Prophecies 2024. Be the first to know what's ahead in 2024 and beyond. Copyright Disclaimer. Chronicles of Prophecy. God Speaks. The Prophetic. International Prophecies 2024. With the Man of God, Prophet Israel Zion. Welcome to my channel. Israel Zion Live. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. In a world of uncertainty and the fear of the unknown, God reveals the future to His people to know what's ahead in the coming year 2024 and beyond. This Global Prophecies is to help the Christian to be prepared, informed, positioned to make the right decisions and to know God's opinion about him, his nation and other nations of the world is the Prophet of God. Israel Zion unravels and reveals the future of 2024. Let's about and of God has to say about 2024. Hello and you are welcome to Global Prophecies 2024. You are welcome to part 4. Be the first to know what is in but in, in this part 4 and in 2024. I'm very welcome. Welcome you to this channel. This is God's servant. This is your friend, your brother. God's prophet, the man of God, Israel Zion. And you are welcome to this part 4. And I would like you to kindly subscribe, share, comment on this video and the previous videos. If you have to go and watch them, if you've not been joining us, join us and then go and watch part 1, 2, 3 and 4 of 2024 Global Prophecies. They see, we brought you enlightenment and there's the last part of the video which, which will bring you insight. In, in the book of John 16 verse 13, the Bible says that when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of himself but what he, he hears us, what he will speak. He will show you what is to come. He will show you what is to come. So letting you know that God wants you to know the future. He doesn't want you to be speaking like nobody knows tomorrow. That's not the story for a Christian. You know tomorrow because of the Holy Spirit. He wants to bring you access into this divine revelation and knowledge and visions. You know, in Isaiah 46 verse 10, the Bible says, declaring the end from the beginning. From ancient times, things now no new yet down, saying my counsel shall stand my purpose shall be accomplished so god wants you to know about these things god wants you to know about the future that the lord god will do nothing except he reveals his purposes and plans to his servants and prophet in most three verse four so god wants you to know the future and you are i'm glad you are you're on this channel and hearing what god has to say concerning the nations this is not to bring you fear or panic to bring you anxiety or anything no we share god's mind for you we share god's plans and 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 remember what we share here is not the political it's not the financial advice or anything we share what god has for you so that you know so that you know and by the grace of god we have a rich history we've been prophesying about international events since 2017 especially on facebook you can go to my facebook page at Israel Zion and then Israel Zion Ministries. You can see a barrage of prophecies from 2017 right up to this year, 2023. And what God has for you in 2024. Mighty prophecies, you know. Whereas I was unfortunately about um, uh, Turkey's uh, earthquake, we prophesied about it. We prophesied about uh, elections, many, many elections. Mubarak's death, we prophesied about it. Many things going around the world. Prophesied many matches in the World Cup. We, we, we are in sports prophecies also. Just last weekend, we prophesied about uh, the draw between Liverpool and Arsenal clearly on Facebook. And it's all there. The evidence is even here on the channel. You should check that video out. Many things, elections. So when we speak, we, we, we have credibility on this things to bring God's mind for you so that we are well positioned to cancel the plans of an enemy to pray and to be positioned and to plan and then know what to do ahead of the year share this video to someone tell them that the prophet of God has brought up the last part of the global prophecy 2024 and they should check it out they should check it out don't forget to like and comment and subscribe remember to turn on the notification button so you are aware of the next video on this channel Without much I do, grab your pen, grab your notepad. Let's continue on this last part. Grab a, grab some water, grab a cup of coffee, and then let's go. 
let's go let's go share this video to somebody share it to a facebook group share it on all social media instagram threads twitter share it everywhere so that people will know what god is doing in this time praise the lord praise the lord so we stopped at 75 we are at 76 ghana i begin with ghana 76 i saw trains running i saw the railway is busy again this is good news this is good news wonderful wonderful i saw it is in real about trains 77 i saw a derailing of trains in germany india some other parts of asia and europe train the road we cancel those accidents in the name of jesus and we urge all the christians in this country to pray with us concerning this this is the plan of the enemies i saw news of like a rumor of another war wants to begin in europe european countries rumor we stop it in jesus name but the news will pick it up by his rumor all of a sudden for a few minutes or something i saw the tiktok app this is number 79 freeze we stopped working for a while i raised some concern but it was quickly restored remember this year, this year we prophesied about instagram shutting down six months ahead to let you know what knows the future these things are just to let you know who knows the future that's all yeah praise the lord praise the lord i saw meetings between china and some asian countries this is number 80 strengthening their ties but they'll be china's puppets this is biblical prophecy coming to pass china's puppets 81 i saw pirates attacking the ship and they were not unsuccessful they ran away the news will show it pirates so those on the seas we pray for god's protection for you pirates pray i saw a boat or a ship sink into the sea suddenly may the lord have mercy may the lord have mercy may the lord have mercy um 83 i saw discussions about the merging of the north and south korea but as what would this mean oh no 84 india discovers a new drug to help eat the world what drug is this you hear about it in the news powerful drug to 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 do with something special i'll keep that for now 85 i saw a new drug for ice imagine to help people eyesight this is wonderful this is a blessing from the lord praise god 86 i saw a missile fired across the asian continents within the middle east this is not israel mass no this is someone and someone in that Asian continent, Middle East area. What happened? I don't know. But we can't say in the plan of war. India and Nepal. I saw floods and landslides. We pray for God's mercy. God's mercy in the name of Jesus. God's mercy. God's mercy. God's intervention. I saw a new viral disease which began to spread quickly across the world is a satanic arrangement satanic arrangement a viral skin disease God's intervention in the name of Jesus okay. so plane crashes this year this is number 89 plane crashes we see why international is important so we pray we pray for no loss of life because I saw two happen in Africa, two happen in Asia, one in Europe and one in the USA. Plane crashes. Small planes in a passenger plane. Uh, God's mercy. The mercy of God. This year 2024. 
is a year. It's one of those years which the will of God and the will of man clashes. Bring me prophetic insight to next year. The year between the will of God and the will of man clashes. But it's a good year for Christians. It's a good year. It's a good year for the Christian. Let me continue. 90. I saw Turkey, another earthquake. Very devastating. Beyond five again. So political tensions within that country. A protest in the land of Turkey. 91. So a bomb attack in Beirut. The country of Beirut. Let's pray. But they were arrested. They exposed them. They were arrested. They exposed them. I saw a big rise in currency. This is financial markets 80, 92, such as the US dollar, G, uh, uh, the British pounds, the euro. It rose very sharply and fell. So it rose in the stock, crypto market, forest market, features market, prepare. Prepare for this. Know how to plan so that is good for you. But it's a quick sharp rise within the first half of the year, sharp fall again. So that's 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 interesting. Definitely. All through the year, rise and fall, financial markets. So what would trigger it? Many things. Many things. I saw oil prices fall to 50. I don't know whether this is for this year or for next year or whenever. Or something like that. Oil prices hit fifty dollars a barrel. So, if you are into oil, don't give your oil too long. I saw drug traffickers ninety four in Mexico and Guatemala arrested. This is good news. Mexico and Guatemala arrested. We arrest them in Jesus' name. Drug traffickers. 95. More African countries will remove visa restrictions. So, traveling to other countries will be very easy. More African countries. Wonderful. So, earthquakes, tsunami, and like um, tornadoes visit Japan. This was terrible. God is not ready for this one. Like I said, this, like the year of earthquakes, sometimes we need to pray. USC has some mass shootings across everywhere. It's not good. We need to pray. Europe, I saw a big red bus on fire in the middle of the road. How did this one happen? I don't know. We pray for God's intervention to intervene. 99. I saw Vladimir Putin win the next elections. I saw news of security assassinations of opposers of the government. Mark this down. Vladimir Putin wins the next elections. 100. I saw the introduction of electronic passports to the world. Electronic passports. What is this? Digital passports. What is this? So this is what's mine for the year I received from the Lord 2024. And uh, let's keep it in prayer. Take steps which you need to take. Let's pray. Let's plan. Let's prepare. Let's receive this with wisdom. I know what to do. Because any things about the financial market, make your own research. It's a disclaimer we are putting out. You're not responsible for any whatever decisions you make financially. Make your own research in the crypto market and whatever. For the next step, what we receive is prophetic insight. With knowledge attached to it, you'll be more profitable and more successful. But I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Before I pray for you, I would like to lead anybody who is watching me who not giving his life to Christ. And I'd like to repeat this from your heart after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for 
the gift of salvation. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. I receive salvation into my spirit, into my heart. I receive eternal life into my spirit, into my heart. And I declare that you are Lord over my life. And I believe it in, with my heart. In the name of Jesus. From this day, you are Lord over my life. And I'm a child of God from this day. I am belonging to the kingdom of light. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, you are born again, we would like you to reach out to us and let's help you, point you to a good church, or point you to where to go and help you in your growth of salvage. Write to us in the comment section, write to us by email or write to us through any means you can on social media and we will reach back to you. In Jesus and tell us that you've been born again too. But I pray for you, pray for all the viewers of this channel that next year will be a year of testimonies will be a year of grace heaped upon grace the same grace which brings the word of god to pass concerning this nation is working for you mightily is working for you i pray for your health to be healed all through your body in the name of jesus and that god's glory will be manifested through you be effective for christ in jesus name as we go through these prophecies and call for times of prayer respond to us cordially remember to subscribe share this video share the other videos to everybody to let them know god's mind consent to his for and beyond remember this is global prophecies and remember that god speaks and he's not dead he speaks global prophecies 2024 and i'll leave it here for now i'll see you within the year if god's mind comes concerning any other thing remember to stay follow us on all social media on facebook is Zion, Zion ministries Twitter is Israel Zion, we are on TikTok is Israel Zion, we are on Instagram is Zion Online, and we are on YouTube is Zion Live. We'll be on threads very soon. Get ready for that. And there are more content coming out this year. Stay prepared for that. And with, with how much I do, I'll sign out from here. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord protect you. And I'll see you in the next one. And until then, as usual, shalom. And stay blessed. God bless you.